Welcome, I'm Carvin Chili, and this is the Extravaganza that is my channel, where we play professional games unprofessionally. So, on our indie game series, I thought I would have a look at this free game. This, it's not out even in early access. Um, it's called Creo God Simulator, and from the title, as you can see, it is a kind of God game. Uh, and I do like the old God games. Uh, Black and White was one of my favourite games of all time. Power Manga, Populous, all of these kind of things. Um, I did like that game by the new, uh, by the Populous creator called Goddess. But halfway through the development, they absolutely nerfed it up. I mean, it used to be a very, very good game. But by about halfway through, when they kind of redesigned it and made it more for mobile, it kind of went a bit rubbish. So, we're going to give ourselves a god name. Now, what can our god name be? Let's call ourselves the Mighty Chili. And the, we were going to call ourselves the Chill, Chill Lights, Chill Lights. And our team, the team town is going to be called uh, um, Onaria, like Carbonara, yeah. Uh, and we'll give it a C number of 13, because that is a good number. So... Uh, let's go for a little tutorial. I think I've learnt my lessons with tutorials and maybe I should follow them just a little bit. Uh, so, uh, you'll find me awake. Hello there, I'm the guild, guilding guiding light. Click the, the next arrow when you're ready to move on. Uh, I do apologise about my reading sometimes. I do have a light shining on my screen here and sometimes I can't quite see the writing. So. Welcome to Creo. As our Creo Strider, you are a rare individual who can channel the power of the gods and with the right rituals can become a god yourself. So we're a demigod. Okay. Thanks on Creo tradition, you are to be the new leader of this settlement. Not everyone can command the elements. First off, why don't you hover over some of the icons you see on your screen? You'll notice that the description appears when you hover over icons. Okay, very good. Coolio, we like that. So we want to summon an altar, I guess. Uh, willpower icon, top left. Uh, willpower is created by having villagers believe in you. Uh, it can be generated by answering your villagers' prayers. Mm. How can you answer prayer? Quite simple. You simply look for villagers with a blue flame above their heads and click on them. This will create willpower for you and will make the village much happier. Good. However, in the world of Creo, willpower is a spiritual force that must be stored in, stored in liquid form. The Creo strided before you have created special willpower wells which can store willpower. Okay, I don't see any of those. You will have to build several of these wells to store your ever-increasing willpower. In the bottom right of the screen, you'll uh, uh, you'll a few toggles and arrows. There is an indicator icon toggle which will toggle certain in-game indicator icons to like the repair, fire extinguish, and swarm icons. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not. It's in the top right. Okay. Uh, another slight mistake there. Under the indicator icon, you will see an inspection mode. Under inspection mode, you'll see these. Uh, no. Under the indicator icon, you will see the inspection mode toggle button. Show info and add inspection mode. Uh, ah, right, speeding of the game. Okay, fine. Summon an altar. Okay, perfectly, perfect. So we'll put it here. Start to put the stone and metal deposits. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Okay. Move the 
good sight to walk in place. Your energy can now be focused on the world of Creo. Additionally, you'll see a blue circle appear when building structures. This is your influence area. Any building you place must be within or touching the influence area. Okay, okay, now now we're going slow. What, what can we build? Trade menu, demolish, infrastructure, residential. Let's plop a little small house in there then. Raw materials. Uh, well, we will always need a ranch. Now I'm possibly building things too quickly. A lumber yard is probably more pertinent. And a little farm here. Economic. We can build a shop. Fantastic. Pop a little shop in. And we can't do anything religious. And we can't do any city services. Uh, place only one. Feel free to place it wherever you like. Now, please do population limit. Uh, you may demolish. Okay. Uh, has their own faith. So little souls are talked and will converse with each other regularly. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. As previously mentioned, the village is age or time. Please remember that children and elderly cannot work but will still consume food and create more power and they believe in you. A uh, good amount of working hours. Now, now that you have a okay, farm, we put in a farm. Uh, isn't that good? Fantastic. We put in a farm and a ranch. In addition to a variety of workplaces, one of the most important buildings in the shop. Please listen to Creo's Trader. We're about to discuss Creo's Trader Commune, which is easily one of the most important aspects of the world of Creo. Find the shop building in the economic in one place. Don't forget to create a job for it by clicking on it and opening some new job slots. QE. Okay, we need to assign people. Perfect, okay, good. After you've employed a new shop, please click on the trade icon. Now you'll now have access to buy and sell different resources. Very good. Now, how do we close the windows? Uh, Right click on them. So what can we trade? Uh, we have... Right, let's try and sell around 10 wood on the market. So... Ah. But, oh, enter value. Let's say 10, because he wants us to sell. Ah, okay. Did you hear that? That's money in your pocket, and who doesn't like an extra roll? Go to little, wait a little, notice that the available resource amounts change over time. That's your villagers buying and selling resources on their own. Each shop market you build increases your town's total resource trade capacity, and will also off and will also increase how often the natural trade occurs with your available resources. Another extremely useful ability you have as the Creo Strider is the power of inspiration. At the bottom left of your screen you'll notice an icon poll. Uh, open it. Uh, the inspiration menu allows you to inspire your villages with new technology. So it's basically your research screen. Okay, so let us. How much willpower? 2000. Inspiration wealth. Uh, stone mining. Okay, well, okay. Time. Now you figured out how to plan in there. Trade and inspiration. Let's move on. And I'm not. Let's use your god power. So, Creo, you're given the ability to use god powers as you wish for good or evil. As time goes on, you will unlock new and more powerful 
ability of you all using powers to raise your willpower, yes. On the top right of your screen, you will find your power icons. Okay. Uh, select the rain icon and make it rain over your farm. Perfect. The rain falls from crops to grow parts of the town lies and get rid pesky cat locust swarms. Each power has a unique influence and use and will cause your followers to react differently. Or all, all powers convert settlers to believe in you as a deity and will increase their faith in you. in a while. It seems you're pressing, progressing towards God's good world. Perfect, I'll leave you to learn on your own. If I'll always be near if you need me. In fact, at the bottom right of the screen, open help dialogue. I'm sure you'll quickly just make sure not to smite everyone too quickly. Perfect. Okay, so we got three workers in the ranch. We got five in here. We got some idle workers, I believe. So... Uh, I believe we want another farm. I will have another farm. And let us E to open job slots. And then we will pop in another house we find. Uh, there we go. Don't know why it looks a bit different from the other one. Oh, we can turn around all the way. Uh, why are you not ah, we have no one working here. All industries must have somebody assigned to them. Uh, okay, that's nice. We have two little houses. We have a population of ten. Oh no, that's a cat of ten. We have ten adults. No available workers. And we have ten followers. Plus this, a meteor. Ooh. Smite. Oh, you've got a little. Ooh, prayer answer. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Smite you. Smite you. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna believe now, you're gonna believe, aren't you? Oh, I killed someone. Oh dear. Oh dear me. <laughs> uh, that was... Uh, it was humorous. Uh, it was humorous, but unfortunately, I don't I can keep doing that. Uh, it was very... I did like that. Now I've moved the, the moved this house around. They're like little Lego houses, aren't they? They're like little Lego houses. So now we've got 20, we got 11 people. Let's quickly go on. Uh, could we go and uh, answer people's prayers? 2,000. Uh, oh, we need to open the jobs. Oh, we've got jobs open. So, no, oh, no, no, we want jobs open. Let us build another ranch, I think. What can we not? We don't have enough wood. Well, let's build another lumber yard then, sir. Raw materials, religious, economic, infrastructure. What's this small altar? Why is nobody... Let me speed this up again. My the problem I always have, you know, speeding things up. So can we build a road? Road also takes more. 
Now, where are my room 4247, okay? Okay, so can we make it rain again? I, I, I'll I let it make it rain. Let's make it rain here. Oh, they're going to believe in me. Look at them go, I like people believing in me. I like the people believing in me. I'm, I'm real. I'm not, I'm not a fragment of your imagination. I am a real man. Oh God. Where did you just disappear to? I'm trying to answer your prayer. 70 willpower. Uh, okay, oh, here's another one. So what's this? Uh, questing for approve yourself. Oh, city with 300 inhabitants. Oh, that's gonna be a bit, a bit tricky. Uh, we got 20. Now I'm a bit reluctant. I'm a bit reluctant to build any more houses because we need. We have a good cut with what we need. Lumber yard. We need 500 for that. Uh, now, we'll probably put the wood cutter over here. We don't need anything like a stockpile, which is interesting. Uh, we've got all this land. And it's raining over there. I have to say, I, I quite like this little game. It's, um, I mean, there's not much to it, really, quite yet at the moment, but uh, I'm, oh, where was our, uh, no, it wasn't this, it was this. Well, uh, thousand for a well. Thousand, two thousand, so everything is two thousand. So we better get people believing in us. How do we get people believing in us? I mean, that's a thousand willpower. We can he afford that all the time. Uh, a house is how much? There we go. Answering the prayers. It is the way to go. Uh, so we got 30, uh, three children. We got three children. So actually, we need more wood choppers. I mean, where's our food as well? I mean, our food is uh, consumed three a second. Stone, none. Metal, none. Uh, that food is definitely going up. For the moment. For the moment. Uh, I don't know if we need another woodcutter or, or another house, actually. Uh, these are little children, I, I think. Uh, a woodcutter is going to be more food. Uh, you can give a man a fish. Or you can teach a man to fish, as they say. Let's answer your prayer. I would like to be able to click on the people and get some information, but that might be asking a bit too much for, for a game with its um, somewhat limited mechanics. Maybe it's something that they're going to put in in the future. Um, 16 calesters, year 18. 16th of Callistus. You're right too. Okay, so now we're maxed out on... Uh, we're maxed out on... People disappear. It's like they disappear out of my... my sphere of influence. They, they kind of disappear from... So let's get... I don't know. Market. Windmill. Or wells. I think we're going to go to windmills. I 
Sawmill first. We're still a little bit away from the sawmill. And we need to get some. Ooh, let's. Uh, they disappear if you don't click on them fast enough. They disappear and then you can't answer that bell or. Maybe I'll turn. Far away, I'm not checking on my people enough, I don't know. Uh, we're still a while away from that, uh, from that, um, oh my god, Carl Street, uh, the Lumberyard, the Lumberyard. Okay, yeah, I think people disappear and join if, if they're not happy with you. Uh, there's six of fourteen. We really could do with another house. What's this? Um, so we are still a little bit away. Still a little bit away from the from the windmill lumberyard. Yay! Yay! I think some people, as you could see there, they generate more willpower if you click on them, if you answer their prayers. Uh, not sure why. We're still another hundred away. Our gold. Go here. Ah. Maybe we were still trading. Maybe we were still trading and maybe that's why there was too much wood. Uh, total worker, trading. 10 of 15, 4 of 18, 13, uh, 16. How do we increase our storage? That's quite interesting. Um, there is nothing about that anywhere. Chopping the wood, you can see him chopping the wood, choppy choppy. Uh, going up here, chopping back, coming down. Uh, there's not that much to their movement mechanics. Uh, they don't really seem to be doing much. I do love this pixel art stuff. Uh, for me, a game is not all about the graphics and the, the dynamic uh, lighting and whatever else. I mean, it helps. It, it, you know, it definitely helps. But it's not the be-all and end-all. I can't click on him. You're moving too fast for me. Well, no, I can't seem to click on you. Okay, you're going fine. Okay, so now we've got enough for the lumber mill, more or less. A couple more business, raw materials. There we go. Okay, so let's get that lumber mill in up here. And get you happy, happy fied. Another person working here, yeah, there we go. Um, so that's coming along quite nicely. Let's speed things up again. Oh, let's get people working here, the lumber yard. Uh, okay, perfect. We will have to move that at some point. Because I'm guessing the, I mean, we need another house now. That's uh, absolute imperative. Why can I not click on you? There we go. Perfect. Happy, happy. I can see you still. I can see you and I can't click on you. Ah, there we go. Happy, happy. Have to get him right in the right place. Uh, Otherwise, it doesn't really work. 
so let's speed this up again and we are losing money. We are losing money. So let us well that well I'm not gonna worry about it. We could do with the stone, so next time uh, we go for some research, I think it would be the stone mining. I believe that's what that might be. I believe that's what that might be. I'm not 100% sure, but one would imagine that's what it is. Or oh, it could be metal. That stone. That stone. So, for a residency, we need... Oh, we need stone blocks. So we can't actually make that many more residences uh, before we get stone. I can see you wanting, wanting to pray. You've gone behind the house now. Okay. Go to ideas. Let's go to stone mining. What do we get? Metal mining and organized workshop. Building repair, advanced cooking, inspiration. Uh, okay. These wood choppers seem to be incredibly hard to get the willpower from. Not quite sure. I don't know, maybe it's just him. Uh, uh, down to 300. So. Uh, that was a cloud. Okay, doing that. Wait, wait, don't run. Don't run. I'm clicking on you. Everywhere around you. Okay, fine. Stone quarry. Oh, what do we need for a stone quarry? Oh, 700. Ooh, that's an awful lot. Uh, and actually, I think we need another house before that. Come on, out of 300 wood. I thought we had 300, it was just there. It was just there. So, uh, another little house, I believe, is in order. You're not producing fast enough. I might have to smite someone. I'd slow things down, maybe that's why. Maybe that is why. We got a lot of, I keep wanting to use Q and E to turn my camera. I might have to bind. I might have to bind the keys. Some people are really hard to click on. Okay, so we can have one more house. We can in another house there. Perfect, that will give us five more people. We got 20 adults, uh, 14 followers. Well, we need to improve that, don't we? Not everyone believes in us. Not everyone believes in us. Uh, well, you can not believe in me. Now, yeah, now you believe, don't you? Now you believe. <laughs> oh, I am a bad god. I am a bad god. Um, what traveler joined your town? Okay, four children, 19. We still down one. Still one person who doesn't believe. But I'm answering your prayers. Why do you not believe in me, my my little my children? I mean that's what you call them. Carbonites. My 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 carbonites. Why do you not 
Why hast thou forsaken me? Although that should be the opposite way around. Uh, okay, so our wood is going up now. What did an aria stone? Because oh, that was a bad idea. Uh, that was a very bad idea. I kicked everyone out of their job. Uh, now our food is going down. Now our food is going down. What about a windmill? What about a windmill? What's around 300 to 40? Stone coin. Uh, what by 20%? Well, I think, and this is in morning first. Metal we really need, not it's metal we really. need. And I think this is metal anyway. But for that we will have to increase our research. Uh, for metal five five thousand. Five thousand Might have to, you might have to give that one a miss. I, I won't have enough for smiting people. Okay, so this has been Creo. Uh, what's the name of it? Uh, Creo something? Um, I did Creo Strider, that was it. I oh, know, yeah, Creo Strider. I do like this little game and I believe we will uh, come back to it in the future. Um, I, I would like to maybe get all the technologies and just finish off a few things, maybe uh, complete it and get the 300 population. But I do definitely like it as a, a nice little casual game. So, I've been Carbon Chili, you've been the audience, and this has been Creo Strider, I think. Thank you.